dropped down Scarecrow from Party City. From eight feet, dropping down his whole body to you. And it's not slow. It's fast as frick. This will get your grandma, your grandpa, your mom, your dad, brother, sister, the dog, Savannah. This, if used perfectly, will get anyone. A drop down jump scare is insane. He also has the perfect scarecrow look in my opinion. He is arched up with his arms out like he's on a podium. His design is a peak scarecrow look. The face looks scary. The clothes look pretty much perfect for a scarecrow. Not too much to mess up there. Tree branch arms. Little old top hat. He looks great. And for only $220 at Party City too, my goodness. With a 15 off coupon that's $200? How is he so good and perfectly priced but all the 12 foot props and mega wolf are $500? Party City, what are you doing? How can the life sizes be perfectly priced and then the height really makes it $300 more? dollars? Are you serious? Just once again, Techie is just going crazy with the jump scare props this year. Quite literally, I think their best year yet, I'm gonna be honest. So in today's video, we are going to unbox one of the techie chims of this year. One of the scarecrow props ever. Drop down scarecrow, yay! Surprisingly, only my second Party City prop this year. And yeah, I did say they're amazing, but the prices um are not so amazing, okay? $500 everywhere, okay? Here we go, drop down. Scarecrow! Here we have an inside look of drop down Scarecrow in the box and oh my goodness I can see his hat! He's got a nice old top hat right here, that's awesome! Oh there's drop down Scarecrow, oh my gosh, hello there! And then we have the instructions taped right here, brown box, adapter, bubble wrap, instruction, instruction! Of course it's techie so we're gonna have to do a little slide out here, okay! Oh my gosh, drop down Scarecrow! Drop down Scarecrow, drop down Scarecrow, yay! Oh, I love his look so much, it looks awesome. Brown box, I guarantee you it's pulled. Oh, here he is, drop down Scarecrow, he looks awesome. Yep, that smells like burlap to me. Classic Scarecrow prop smell. Every single harvest prop, I swear, it smells like this. Straw and burlap, it's, it just always smells like that. Alrighty, let's cut all these zip ties, because techie props always are zip tied, I swear. So many props from Techie that are all zip tied. It is their signature move. Here's Mr. Drop Down's body. It's his whole body. This is it. Kinda tiny than I thought. Look, no legs. His legs, where are they? Yeah, here's a body of Drop Down Scarecrow. Once again, I just love his look so much. Like, when I think of a Scarecrow, this is like the perfect Scarecrow. Here's a good look of his face and all. Oh, it is a uh, plastic, yay. Plastic time. See the LEDs there? Oh, he looks great. I love his look so much. And here we got his uh, burlap collar and straw in the clothes, which feel very decent, very good. Here's a foot. This middle part though does feel kind of iffy. It's probably okay. But his pants feel very nice and soft up here. Feels pretty good as well. And he's got a little rope there. Jeez, okay. Base jump scare. Oh jeez, oh my gosh. All right, here we got the singular long hole right here. C to D pole. Bye bye. And we got his base, which splits in half because if he didn't have, you know, a decently long base, he would just... So yeah, you don't want that happening. Woo! Let us see what is in this brown box. Haha, -ha, here's the module and stuff. Oh jeez, okay. His arms, look, they're literally just trees. That's cool. It's like a wand. They're floppy, look at that. It's literally just trees. Oh, and here we have a little pole with a spring attached. Interesting, interesting. Another little tiny pole. Another spring pole. And a pole with a G connection onto it. All right, here we got the module. And this should be the last thing. And yeah, here's the module and mechanism. We got the classic techie white module. Literally every single prop has this this year. And then also literally so many props have this same spring-loaded mechanism. I swear, Desmodus, Emmeline, Dolly, pretty much every single jump scare techie prop has this spring-loaded mech. Metal Gears again. Like, techie is consistent. And we got like this crazy contraption of metal up here. It's gonna be a very interesting setup. I'm really curious on how he's gonna be fully built together. Then of course we have his adapter. And of course his instructions and oh boy, do you guys see that? Do you guys hear that jingle? You know what that is? Cotter pins! Ah! More and more cotter pins everywhere from Techie. I swear they keep using it every single day. Every single prop this year. Techie, every single prop. Cotter pins. And we have sandbags, so once again he doesn't. And we got his legitimate instructions. And also the snap lock thing where you could just put us put this thing on and snap lock it and it comes out. So that's pretty cool. And that should be all the parts from the box. Yeah. Alright, so here are all of his parts. Where is the actual drop-down scarecrow body? Drop down! 
Thank you. Okay, so all the parts, we got his module and mechanism, the spring-loaded metal gears. Metal gears, yay! Then we got this teeny tiny singular pole that's gonna be for- Ow, that was loud. That's gonna be used for something. We got quarter pins! Quarter pins! Quarter pins! Quarter pins! But yeah, don't lose those, because if you lose those, drop down scarecrow is gonna drop down on a trick-or-treater. And then we got this long, singular, square pole. We got both of his base pieces. Instructions. Adapter. This pole with the G connection here. Two poles with springs on the end of them right there. Very interesting. And of course we got Mr. Drop Down, his body. Bro is already dropping down. And then we got his little tree branches for arms. Very epic, very cool. Not too many parts at all. Techie is always known for like not having many parts. I would think that Drop Down Scarecrow would have more parts, but I guess not. He really only has like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 something. Let's just say 11. He has 11 parts. He doesn't have too many parts, so hopefully this will be maybe simple, maybe... I don't know, Techies is a bit, uh, especially with the jump scare Techie ones, they're a bit, uh, confusing sometimes. So we shall see. We may fail. We may fall. We may drop down. But we shall get through this unboxing and setup of a review of Drop Down Scarecrow. Let's get into the setup. Alright, so first things first, of course we're gonna start off with the two base pieces. And then snap lock them together. If it wants to... There we go. With this pole in the back. And then snap lock the C to D pole. C to C snap lock. Boom. And then we're going to take the module and mechanism pole. D to D. Snap lock that into place. There we go. Alright, and now we take this pole with this little white G piece. We got to find E. We gotta line it up with the holes on the module pole. This piece on the mech, spring loaded, push this in, slide that down, put it through the hole, and then just line this up. And this is where we're gonna use a clevis pin and cotter pin. Yeah! <laughs> Make sure E to E is lined up with the holes. Take a cotter pin, slide it all the way through. Go through, please. There we go. Get a clevis pin and slide that on through. There we go, it's locked and secure. Now take the F pole, line up the holes for F to F here. Cotter pin, there we go. Clevis pin it up. Boom. Now we can finally take the body. We've got arms in the I and H pole that we have to connect all the way at the top. I right, got his body and also make sure you go all the way through the bottom of the clothes and not like halfway up. Rest I and I. Get your cotter pin and push it through. I can find the right spot. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's halfway through. There we go. Okay. Jeez, that took a while. It's hard to find the cotter pin hole all the way up here and match it up. It's kind of annoying, but we got through it. Come on, line up. There we go. Boom. Then clevis pin. Now we gotta go all the way up there, even higher, for this other pole. Lay them down this way. Hopefully it's easier to match up the holes. Yes, it is. Okay, I finally got it through. It took so long. This is the worst part. That little H part right there, where you put the cutter pin, I hate you, I hate you. Why were you so tough? I recommend just leaning them down and then trying to line up the hole that way. Just like lean them a bit to the ground so you have like a better view of where to put it through. And then put a clevis pin in there. There we go, boom, finally. He is up. Oh geez, the sun. Oh my gosh, the sun. All right, so for wind purposes, he is dead. But it makes it a lot easier to connect his arms, and this would probably have been a better way to connect his cotter pin, but it's okay. But now we must arm. Put it through his arm hole first, then line it up. Snap lockety do. there we go. Now the same for the K arm pole. Put it through the arm hole. Snap lock K to K, here we go. And now time for the trees. Tree branch, tree branch number one. Snap lock. Tree branch number two. Now we got all the amazing wires to deal with. Okay, also side note, Techie's wire connections is here. Oh my, they're awesome. They are, these are waterproof. This is, this is, thank you Techie, thank you. This is amazing. So, so a good connection. Okay, so we got P to P. We got, oh, and N to N. Now we gotta pull the black cloth over the module and mech so you cannot see his internals. And now we just gotta Velcro the black cloth. Make sure all the wires are inside the black cloth. Velcro up the black cloth. There we go, he's all covered. And is that literally it? Is that the final, is that it? Hold up, we got the adapter. 
Don't mind if I do, just plug him in. Make sure he's on, volume up. And now probably the most important thing, please weigh him down. If you actually just get dropped on Scarecrow, activate him with no weight, you deserve the downfall of it just slapping the ground, okay? Like literally, please just weigh him, rebar him. I got my good old nine pound weight. I'm also gonna rebar him real quick. I've got a hammer. And I hammer in the evening. Look, it's actually the evening. Don't look, don't look at that home screen. That you didn't see that. And he's done! Ladies and gentlemen, he is done. Oh my gosh. He's all the way up there. He is definitely eight feet. I'm gonna get so scared. This is scary. This is like probably one of the scariest props to activate, honestly. Because I don't know, at least for me, back in the day, the techie props. I was so scared to activate any of my props. Like Rosemary Lurching Vampire, I was terrified to be in the same room as it's activating because I was just that scared. That was just me though, I don't know. He dropped down Scarecrow is one of those props. Let's clerk Kuzwold this thing. Oh boy, I'm scared. Hello, drop down. Hello, are you in there? Young man, why is he not functioning? He's on, he's literally on. Hello, wake up, wake up. Oh my gosh. Party city techie. Why do I have to get a bug drop down scarecrow? No, I had perfect luck this entire season. Not too many props broke. I don't think any props broke. And now, <laughs> look, 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 look. Extension cord right there. It's plugged in to that outlet. He is also plugged in, turned. He's on, he, he's, literally, he's literally turned on and he's just not a Ryzen. Okay, I'm using this old adapter and look at all the old names on it. Wow, it's six volt two amp. We got attack spider. Oh wait, this is not old. There's Mr. Dark. I am dumb. Okay, here we go. I'm scared. Hello? <laughs> There's not a soul left. <laughs> They're all gone. Activate him again. Come on, that is like maybe the best jump scare prop. Other than Emmeline, he might be the best jump scare. Uh, thank you for working. Thank you. It was just a bad adapter. But oh my gosh, dude. He is awesome. He doesn't have a long reset time like Emmeline, where Emmeline takes like a minute to reset. He only takes like. I'm, that was like 10, 15 seconds, not that bad, not that bad. Drop down Scarecrow is easily one of the best techie jump scare props of all time, in my opinion. A full body drop down like that is just crazy and such a good jump scare. Like, I really think if you have never seen him or have a clue of what he does, it will literally get anyone. Like, this is a peak jump scare prop. He also just has that perfect scarecrow look all arched up with his hands out like he's on a stand or a podium. I don't think I would change anything with his look at all. It accomplishes what it's trying to be perfectly. His face looks good too. It isn't cheesy looking or goofy. It's scary and fits perfectly. He's got great audio too. The quality seems pretty good. And yeah, it is being held together by cotter pins pretty much like every other techie prop this year. But with his animation, at least I have a slight feeling that it could maybe fly out. Like, okay, with Desmodus, he is a pretty drastic jump scare as well. And he uses cotter pins and a lot of them have been flying out and just not doing well. Okay. So maybe there is some fear with drop down. I haven't seen any broken drop downs at all. So, I mean, I would just keep an eye out on his mechanism to make sure he stays connected up there. It was already such a pain to push it through a hole all the way at the top though gosh that was easily the worst part of the setup but other than that i think his quality all around is pretty good good welding it seems for the scare make sure you weigh him or rebar him to the ground or he will go flying down the clothes are pretty good too like i mean it's like nothing to write home about but it's like you know still pretty decent the spring-loaded mechanism itself that has been used on all the techie jump scare props this year as well has held up from what i've seen and what i own emmeline dolly and desmodus are all working for me consistently so drop down should be good too Two? Bless up those metal gears. For only 220 though, I am still shocked that he is that cheap. For the crazy scare, he's tall too. Life-size body, but he's got height. Eight feet looming above. Such a good price for this thing. I gotta give drop down, honestly. Like, oh my gosh. Do I say it? I think he might be a 10 out of 10. Like, this is like my ideal perfect scarecrow prop. Unique and effective animation. Amazing, worth it price. Perfect looked in my opinion. He's gonna work so well in my harvest. So I would highly recommend this man. So if you got a scarecrow section, a harvest section, a pumpkin section, section go drop down over to party city and get yourself this scarecrow also use a 15 percent off coupon sign up for that email thing because party city has no mercy